Hey Lou, and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today we review Train's 2001 album, Drops of Jupiter. It's a pretty good album overall, I would say. This is definitely a good album. This is the track listing, and these are the tracks I added to my playlist. 8 out of 11, so just 1 over 75%, basically. This album is pretty good. Most of the tracks are good, and there are some here that are pretty great, if I'm being honest. The first three tracks open the album amazingly well, and uh, they're the album manages to keep a solid momentum throughout. It never gets too fast, uh, but also never so slow that it drags. The slow songs here are actually really good. This album is probably one of the best examples on how to do a whole album in the slow style and still uh, don't end up dragging on it. The genre is mostly sort of an early 2000s pop rock sound, uh, but it's kind of inflected by a more country rock sound and it works out pretty well overall. Uh, this album's sound was actually pretty innovative for its time, but listening to it now, it just sounds like an average 2000s album, but coming out in 2001, this definitely uh, sort of set the tone for the, the new decade. There was only one single released before the album, the title track, Drops of Jupiter, which was definitely on the radio a lot throughout the next decade and a half. Um, it's one of their, probably one of their their most well-known songs, I would say. My favorite song here, though, uh, probably Final Track, Mississippi. It's a very s cool, slow, acoustic rock track that I like, although She's on Fire and Something More are also really good. And if we're talking about raw quality, the title track, Drops of Jupiter, is probably the one that deserves to be on the radio the most. I rank this album 4th out of Train's 11 albums. It only loses out to albums with a slightly higher overall quality and a faster sound. California 37 and Save Me San Francisco are both almost perfect, and I think that A Girl, A Bottle, A Boat is just higher quality than Drops of Jupiter. They had a lot more experience in 2017 than in 2001. Um, Drops of Jupiter is their second album, A Girl, A Bottle, A Boat is, what is this, their, their ninth, 10th? Drops of Jupiter is still pretty much the best uh, good album Train had, though. It beats out Bulletproof Picasso and AM Gold, in my opinion. Uh, the albums above this, A Girl About a Boat, is really great, and then um, the other two are, are almost perfect. So this is definitely one of their best really good albums. Now, this album doesn't take my top spot from 2001. That goes to Pink's Misunderstood which I like better, and it has more variety, in my opinion. I also just like the overall sound of that album better than the slow country rock of Drops of Jupiter. It's more varied and quicker and a bit more sort of pop, hip-hop-ish, where Drops of Jupiter is pretty much just country rock in the pop scene. So, yeah, I think Misunderstood takes it, but not by a big margin. It's pretty close on this one. Next up is Duran Duran's brand new Halloween-themed album, Danse Macabre. It's half cover album and half new stuff, and it's, uh, it's all supposed to be spooky Halloween stuff. So I'm pretty interested to see how it all comes together. Duran Duran have steadily increased in quality over the past two decades, so I'm hoping... I'm always hoping they'll hit it big again, but I, I don't think it'll happen. But for this album... Uh, I'm pretty excited to hear what it, what they what they do with this one. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. And we just hit over 100 subscribers on this channel, 3 Bros Inc., so uh, pretty good. I'm going to be doing something on Friday for that, so stay tuned. And as always, stay minty.